Hey guys, my name is Rachel from the baking channel Kawaii Sweet World and today we are making some adorable Minecraft holiday themed cake pops. These would be the perfect treat for anyone that loves Minecraft, so let's get started. To start off, I'm going to crumble one half of a 13 by 9 inch cake into a food processor. You could also crumble the cake by hand, but I like using the food processor because it gives me nice fine crumbs. And once I've crumbled up all of my cake, I'm just going to add in enough frosting to get a nice packable consistency. And what I mean by packable is you should be able to pick up a handful of dough and pack it together. Now it's time to start shaping our cake pops. You can see I like using the ice cream scoop to get nice even cake pops. So first I roll it into a ball and then I start flattening out the sides to get a cube. And to me this feels just like modeling clay, so if you can play with modeling clay you can definitely make these cake pops. Once you have all of your cake pops formed, you're just going to pop this into the fridge for about 10 minutes to firm up. And then once they come out of the fridge we can start to add in these sticks. I'm just taking a lollipop stick, dipping it about half an inch into some candy melts, and then I'm just going to insert it into a cake ball. This part is optional, but I also like to wipe off the excess candy coating for a cleaner finish. Now we can start to dip our cake pops. You can see I'm starting out with the TNT one, and I'm dipping it into some red candy melts that I've thinned out with canola oil. And by the way, you can buy candy melts at your local craft store. So I've just tapped off the excess candy coating, and I'm going to place it into a cake pop stand or a styrofoam block to dry. Then repeat this for your green creepers, and also your pink pigs. And once the candy coating is all set, we can start to decorate. First I'm going to do the pig. I'm just adding on a pink snout with some candy coating. You just want a rectangle shape for this. Then I'm going to trace out the eyes with a toothpick. And those are just two rectangles that I'm filling in with some white candy coating. Then I'm adding on two dark pink dots for the snout. And I'm going to finish off the eyes with some black candy coating for the pupils. And now to make this a reindeer pig for the holidays, I'm going to take a pretzel, cut it in half, and then cut off the top part of the pretzel. Then I'm going to dip this in some pink candy coating and just attach it to the pig. Moving on to our TNT cake pop, you can see I'm starting out by drawing a line with some white candy coating. Go ahead and let that set. And then starting with the center letter, I'm going to add on the word TNT with some black candy coating. Then to make this a present, I'm going to cut out some white fondant that I bought at my local craft store. You can see I'm just cutting out kind of an edamame bean shape. Then I'm going to fold each end into the center. And I'm going to take a small strip of fondant and just create that little center tie. And you can see this makes an adorable bow for our cake pop. I'm just going to attach it on by brushing on some water and then pressing on the bow. And now finally for our creeper cake pop, I'm going to start out by tracing out the face with a toothpick. Then I'm just going to fill it in with some black candy coating. Now I'm going to make this a Santa Creeper by making a little fondant Santa hat. You can see I'm making a cone of some red fondant, and I've just bent over the tip. Then I'm adding a strip of white fondant around the base, and adding on a little pom-pom to the end. Then just like the bows, I'm going to first brush on some water, then stick on the Santa hat. And that's it. Alright guys, our Minecraft holiday cake pops are all finished now, and these look so cute. I'm sure that anyone that loves Minecraft would definitely love these cake pops. Anyways, if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe to DreamWorks TV, and also check out my other video right over here for my jewel box cookies, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys!